Hey YouTube, my name is Maxipo. Um, I think I haven't recorded a video in a while and from the previous videos that I have actually uploaded, um, one of the most common questions that I was asked was how do you add VST plugins or Wave plugins or Isotope plugins to Audacity? And um, over the couple of years, I think Audacity has actually changed a few things here and there in terms of um, the location. Previously, it was on preferences, and you could actually click on the VST rescan, but now it has actually changed. So let's say you have bought web plugins, and I hope you have bought actually, and you intend to try them out um, either on Adobe Audition or I think it much it's much easier to actually add them on Adobe Audition than it is to add them on Audacity. So the first thing that you do is from your top bar, you go to tools and then you click on add slash remove plugins. And from there, you then have a list of all the plugins that you have actually um, installed onto your Mac or PC machine. And what you simply do is select all, and then what you do is click enable. And so what that will simply do is it will enable all the plugins. For me, I already have them enabled. And so here's the reason the status bar is showing enabled. And then what you do is click okay, and it will have them enabled. Then the, f the next thing that you need to do is you need to restart um, Audacity. Um, so that they can actually show in your effects rack yeah so let's give it a try i'm just recording what i'm actually saying right now and then we'll be able to try and use one of the um wave plugins so we have recorded this and what do you do next um you then notice that from your bottom screen you'll be able to see some of the wave plugins that you or as a topic plugins that you have actually installed. Um, uh, so let's just try one, let's say as a topic, I was on. Yeah, and you can actually see um, from the menu bar here or the effects rack. You can see that Isotope is actually opened and you can actually apply um, the effects that you have um, actually installed onto your machine um, that easily. So I hope that this video has been helpful. If it has, um, just simply click the subscribe button because I'm back and we're going to learn more um over the past years i've ac actually acquired much more knowledge in terms of mixing and mastering and i hope that this video has been helpful and catch you guys in the next one